Well, Lopez, the current champion, and of course, Akshalov, the Kazakh favorite. Akshalov ranked number five in the AIBA World Boxing Rankings. Number one, of course, for Brazilian fighter Lopez. Well, when you come to fight a champion, you need to beat a champion. It's going to be an uphill struggle for the Kazakh, but he's got his work cut out against a class act in the shape of the Brazilian Lopez. But Akshalov, a participant in the London Olympics, a participant in the Baku World Championships. This is going to be a highly contested bout, and at semi final level, we're going to see quality, quality work. Well, one thing about uh, Everton Lopez that we saw in the Petrowskis fight is he's got a long reach and he's willing to stand back, he's willing to try and pick off in the counter. The Kazakh athlete looks to be a little more aggressive coming forward here, wide stance. And no doubt, buoyed up through the adrenaline of this huge crowd cheering him on here. He certainly made uh, the quicker of the starts. Well, the intensity of this bout has just eased off a pace as both fighters suddenly realize they need to have a look and see what's going on in the other's armory. Lopez, Southport trying to dance, trying to use the ring, but actually maybe coming off a little bit worse in the exchanges here, but scoring away, and that left hand, one to watch for, it's seen sight of the Kazakh's chin just a few times in those exchanges. You see Lopez, he likes to keep that left, the right hand, I should say, he's a southpaw, the right hand up there, trying to keep the... Uh, Kazakh athlete at bay, as he did with Petrowskis, waiting for a huge straight left hand to come over. Oh, a great right hand there from the Kazakh athlete, and it gets the crowd going. Well, Lopez working the right-left combination, trying to get a slip seat left hand in. He's landing the punch, not a lot of power in it, but uh, Ashkolov just biding his time and landing shots himself. Again, the Kazakh charging in there. Making inroads, coming in behind that straight left that he's got, worked very well here. And Lopez really needs to be moving to his left as a southpaw. just to escape that heat-seeking left hand of Akshalov. So that's it, the final few seconds. A good little exchange at the end, but the Kazakh athlete perhaps getting the better of it. And uh, they go back to their corner. Well, in the replay, we can just see towards the end of that round, the Kazakh fighter really got into his stride, and Akshalov really put pressure on the Brazilian. Lopez lost his fluidity, just lost that calmness about his work, and very strong finish for the Kazakh fighter. Interesting to see how the judges will score this. Well, here we are. It's uh, nine tens across the board in favor of Axelov. So uh, the aggressive fighting of Axelov, and indeed he scored more clean quality punches, beating the Brazilian Lopez. This isn't too different from when he fought Petrowskis in the quarterfinals. Petrowskis, very aggressive in the first round, taking a victory, but then Lopez's speed and fitness came back and came good in the second and third. So, we're underway with round number two, the Brazilian Everton Lopez in the red. And uh, just being asked there for uh, Lopez's head to be cleaned, a little bit too much sweat, uh, towel down to an acceptable amount from our referee, and we're underway. Kazakh in blue, Mary Axelov. Lopez has just looked a little unsettled in this bout. The first round struggled to work his strategy, but he's getting it together here now, but we're seeing more aggression from Kazakh fighter. Axelov closing down the space. Lopez keeping it simple. Throwing the right, following through with the left. Akshalov 
Closing down the space, getting inside and landing some good shots. Good left-right combination from Akshilov. Answered in kind by Lopez. And Lopez struggling to use that incredible maneuverability that he has, actually slowing all his work down to meet toe-to-toe -to -toe with Axelov. And I don't know whether that's a good thing. Axelov has closed the ring down, and a couple of times we've seen Lopez on the ropes and unable to get away cleanly. That's a good heavy shot to the body from Lopez, comes under the guard of Axelov, makes good connection, slips nicely there, but on the break. Still a little off point, Lopez, not finding the target, hasn't quite got Akshilov in the hairlines, so a lot of shots going wild, whereas Akshilov landing the shots cleanly, and they're solid. It just begs the question, how much did that Petrauskas fight take out of the Brazilian two days ago? The world champion's up against it here. Will he be able to turn on his class against the Kazakh? Who's, he's not just fighting with one man, he's got 3,000 people here screaming his name. Definitely a lot of partisan support, as you'd expect, for Kazakh fighter Akshilov. And you're right, Colin, that was a grueling encounter. And um, has the Brazilian spent too much energy in the quarterfinals? not left enough in reserve to handle a very tough opponent indeed. Just under 30 seconds to go in this second round. Such strength and aggression from the Kazakh fighter. Akshilov now starting to ease forward in terms of aggression and power, and you can see that the Brazilian can't quite handle it, has to try and find an evasive way out of these sticky situations in the corner and on the ropes, but the power of the Kazakh well, really coming to the fore here. And well, he's working him to the body, then to the head. The Kazakh has all the combinations right now. And the number one in the world and the world champion, Everton Lopez of Brazil, just cannot come up with the answers to all of the questions that the Kazakh is chucking at him. So you can see in the replay, Akshilov taking shots himself to get inside but it's not worrying the Kazakh at all because he goes in after taking two and lands three, maybe four of his own. Well, it's really a, a splendid competition the uh, Kazakhs have put on here. Great crowd, everything has run like clockwork. It's been a brilliant competition so far. Let's have a little look here at what the judges score this as. 10-9, two of them in favor of Lopez. Axelov only getting Judge B there. So 19-19, we have Two judges see this as a draw at the moment. One judge in favor of the Kazakh. Everything to play for. We're down to the final three-minute round in this men's light welterweight semi-final. Everton Lopez, the world champion, up against it, still slightly behind on the scorecard. And it's Axelov of Kazakhstan in blue, who once again sets off at that lightning pace. I said right at the beginning of this bout, Colin, when you've come to fight a champion, you've got to beat a champion. And it looks as if Axelov has come to do just that. But with a round apiece now between them, everything to play for in this third and final round of this men's light welterweight semi-final. Well, you can feel the intensity of the crowd behind their own man, but you can feel that anxiousness coming from the Brazilian corner. He's got the work to do the champion. Again, that right-left combination, putting Lopez in good stead. A uh, slipsy right hook there, that had potential. Again, left-right. Again, that left hand comes in. Just out punching Axelov. Well, even on the inside, Lopez now starting to work and power away. He's decided to put an end to the march of Axelov, not allowing him any ground now, and starting to dominate the centre of the ring. You just feel that the Brazilian has been a little more efficient in everything he's done here. He seems to have a little bit more in the tank in terms of energy. 
The Kazakh threw it all out there, no doubt riding on a wave of adrenaline in front of his home crowd. Can he hang on here and put up one minute twenties worth of action? And just suggesting there he pushed him to the ground, but everything's okay, no standing eights. They get underway with a minute and ten to go here. This could go either way. Well, the last minute of a final round where everything has been so even thus far means that we're going to see some exciting boxing here. But this is where a champion's mindset comes in. Whether or not Lopez can put that in effect, we'll see. But Akshilov looks as if he's looking to get a victory here, unperturbed by all of the championship fervor that the Brazilian has brought to this and skill. Now the Brazilian keeps looking down at his left hand there. I wonder whether uh, he's got a slight injury on his left side. He's tending to work his right arm as well. And the Kazakh perhaps has spotted a weakness. He's charging in here. A little flurry from the Kazakh. There was a good right hand in that exchange that connected with Lopez and he wobbled a bit. If Akshilov can stay on target and land a shot, we could see something decisive. And that's it. End of the first men's light welterweight semi-finals. Everton Lopez of Brazil, the world champion has had an absolute war with Mary Axelov of Kazakhstan. And I'm not sure, Will, whether Lopez has actually damaged himself here. A couple of times he kept looked down at his left elbow, and he seemed a little timid in throwing that left hand later on in the fight. It'll be a very close decision in terms of point scoring. It'll be very close indeed. Here we go, our referee's decision. It goes the way of the Kazakh, and I think it's a fair result. Lopez, no complaining there. A sportsmanlike hug from the world champion. He takes away a bronze medal for his efforts. Well done to the Brazilian.